Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a home decor update. Um, this is like a very highly requested video. I get requests to do home decor videos all the time and they take a little bit longer just because um, whenever I redecorate, like I just want to make sure that everything looks nice before I show you all. So I've done just a few changes here and there. My last video I think was my um, home tour video. So I'm not going to be doing a complete home tour. I'm just going to be showing you some things that I've changed since then. Um, some things that I rearranged. I rearranged my room. I added some spring touches to the kitchen and the living room. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I've done and maybe give you a little bit of inspiration. Um, on how to bring some spring into your house and also just maybe some decorating ideas that you never thought of. These are really some of my favorite videos to do so if you want to see more of these videos leave this video a thumbs up and then let me know in the comments that you really like to see decor videos and I can try and do some more. Um, and if you have any questions let me know below and I will also try and leave as much as I can in the description box with links. Um, not everything is going to have a link because I do find a lot of things from and antique shops and thrift shops and stuff like that but I will try to leave as many things as I can in the description box. Now I decorate with kind of a farmhouse feel to it but not too overdone. It's kind of just a very clean neutral um, polished look. You'll see whenever I show you kind of what I'm talking about in my video um, as you watch it but I guess let's go ahead and get started. So as you walk in the front door, this is the first thing on the wall and this sign is from Hobby Lobby and then the wreath I believe was from like TJ Maxx or something. This is thrifted from my favorite thrift shop and then this little bag right here I showed in a vlog before. It's from Kirkland's and they were on sale. I think they were like five dollars or something and then I just put some lavender in there um, of course this is not real lavender this is from um, Tuesday morning but my favorite lavender stems are the ones from Hobby Lobby um, but I just thought it kind of freshened it up a little bit made it look a little bit springier so this is just right by our front door whenever you walk in So this area has changed just a little bit since I did my last home tour video. We added this back here behind the couch, which I love. This was actually my mom's idea. So what we did is I just grabbed a piece of wood from Home Depot. I measured how long the couch is. I want to say this is eight foot board. We used a wood stain on it and then let it dry for like an hour or so. And then we've got some brackets under there. I've got one bracket here, one bracket there. They're like some iron brackets from Hobby Lobby. And we just mounted it up on the wall. I was gonna get a table to go back here and this is a much cheaper option. So if you are looking for something like that, this was probably a 10 to 20 dollar project i mean seriously we already had the stain so i don't have to pay for that but um i just i love how it brings just some like different texture behind the couch instead of the couch being pushed up all the way to the wall um this is from ikea and this entire arrangement is from kirkland's right now if you go you can pick out different stems it's really cute it's like a little um flower bouquet station or something like that, that they call it so a flower market I think so I brought some yellows in for the spring I thought that those were really pretty I just tried to pick ones that looked more realistic I've got some um, of these cotton bowls right here or yeah I think that's what they're called um, but yeah you can get some of those at Kirkland's make like a little arrangement these are from Hobby Lobby you can get those half off whenever they go half off let's see how much are these so this one was 22, so you could get this one for 11. These are all different sizes, so they're all kind of different prices, but I have four of those, two on each side. This lamp is from Target a while back. Um, this is just like a little wicker basket from Home Goods. This I found at Goodwill a long time ago, and this greenery is from Ikea, and then a little picture frame of my kiddos. I don't remember where that's from. And then the pillows on my couch. By the way, my couch is from Pottery Barn. I get that question a lot. It's actually from the Pottery Barn outlet, and these pillows are at Target right now. I love them. They're huge, and um, they're pretty good price for that really nice pillow. 
And then these are from Pottery Barn. These are just pillow covers, um, the Pottery Barn outlet, I believe. And then these pillows are really pretty. They bring just like that little pop of color um, to the room. I don't usually do a lot of color, um, but I like how these bring just enough like spring to the room. These are from Amazon and they were actually sent to me by the company. I love them. So the actual cases are linen. So they're really, really nice quality and they're very inexpensive. So I always buy pillow covers and interchange them out. Plus I always have to wash them because of my kids. So if you're looking for a little bit of spring, um, like to add some spring to your living room or room or wherever, those are really inexpensive but nice quality pillowcases. So I would really recommend those. I'll leave the link to those below. And um, yeah, I think here's Marlo over here. Um, over here, this lamp is from Hobby Lobby. If you go to Hobby Lobby when their lamps are on sale, which I think is the same time that the floral stuff is on sale, these are $35. So that's a really good price for a really nice lamp. And then um, just a picture of me and my hubby over there. I don't, I think this is probably from Hobby Lobby as well because they're half off all the time. Um, this is from the Magnolia Collection, this vase right here at Target. And then I've got a lamb's ear in here um, from Hobby Lobby. And then this big one is from Kirkland's. So if you're looking for greenery, um, Hobby Lobby and Kirkland's are definitely the places to go for that, um, just pick out some realistic ones. I don't remember where this mirror is from. Um, this is probably from Hobby Lobby, that was thrifted. That's just a picture frame, probably from Hobby Lobby. I don't know where that's from. Kirkland's, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, probably Hobby Lobby. And I'll leave this sign below. Um, this is also another question that I get all the time about where this sign is from. It was a Christmas present um, like two years ago for my mom, but I do know the shop of where it's from so I will leave that below if you're interested in ordering one. Um, it is a very very pretty sign and I get a lot of questions about it. So. Alright guys so this is the cadenza <laughs> and on the top we've got uh, the thing that you put the cakes in when you're hungry and we've got a uh, what are they called a lantern over here um, we've also got a place for some green apples a uh, small this is like for cupcakes and a bunch of dishes with flowers on them fresh milk can be had on the bottom eat local make sure that you go to your grocery store and uh, that's the that's the ham family cadenza what is your favorite part of this my favorite part of the cadenza is probably the fresh baked pies that are never actually baked <laughs> and served daily. Uh huh. All That's right. My favorite part. And honey, how do you spell cadenza or cadenza? Uh, is it a C or a K? It's a C. C is for cadenza. C A D. E-N-Z-A, Cadenza. Okay, thank I you. I was first grade spelled me champ, oh, by the way. Congratulations. <laughs> this is my Cadenza, everyone. I have no idea what a Cadenza is or where he got that from. This is my hutch that I repainted the I entire thing. I forks here. I think that's for spoons. People used to collect spoons back in the day. Ah. So I found this piece on a Facebook website and this is like one of my most asked questions about where this hutch is from and I think I got it for $70 and I repainted it using chalk paint and um, I actually did not put a top coat on this one. Um, I have a lot of people saying it's going to chip off, blah blah blah, it doesn't chip off when you use, um, when you use chalk paint. So anyways, that's a whole other video. This grocery sign right here is from a store in Waco by uh, Magnolia. It's not from the Magnolia store, it was just by it, but I've actually seen these at Home Goods before. Um, they're around like $80, but I found mine for a little bit cheaper than that. Um, this little lamp is like a new addition to this. I love how it looks at night to have a little bit of light. I would have put it in here, except that um, there's no way to get the cord to the wall so I put it on top it looks really pretty at nighttime it just kind of like warms up this area that believe it or not is from Walmart the whole thing this little base and the lampshade it's a tiny little lamp um, but it's from Walmart and it was like ten dollars 
And then this stuff I've said before was all kind of thrifted. This is milk glass. I think that was given to me by my mother-in-law. And then this is from Kirkland's. And these bowls are from Target. I found those on clearance. They were like a dollar each. And then I've got some of these apples. These little um, like vase fillers is technically what they call them are from Tuesday morning. And then these are some of those jadeite pieces from the Magnolia Collection at Target. They're fairly inexpensive. If you're just looking for something um, to kind of like brighten up your space, they, they bring a pretty color to your space, but they're not like too much. And then I don't know where this plate is from. This one is from Hobby Lobby and you'll see a lot of these on the hutch. These are from Hobby Lobby. And then this is from World Market. This right here, you can find these in the Target dollar section all the time. They currently have some in the Target dollar section right now. And I don't remember where this is from. And then this is from Hobby Lobby right now. And this is from Home Goods. Um, I like the way that this one looks because it looks a little bit more realistic than those right there. So that's something you want to look for if you're getting greenery is how realistic it looks. And then this is from Hobby Lobby as well. This and these plates, well, these plates, um, and this are all from that spring section at Hobby Lobby and it's always 40% off. And then um, I just put some different plates that I have in here. I thought it looked really pretty. Um, here's one of those jadeite plates. This one's from Hobby Lobby. Um, this one was from Target a long time ago. Um, some of these are like antique plates back here. So I just thought it looked really pretty, kind of springy and brought some color. And then here's some more of those jadeite pieces. These are these little jadeite vases from the Magnolia Collection. And then this is just an old white pitcher that I have. The fresh milk is from Home Goods. This, you can't see it well on here, but it says sugar and it's just a galvanized tin. That's from Tuesday morning. This is from Hobby Lobby. There's a car. Say hi. Hi. Bubba. Bubba, yes. And then um, yeah. this right here, this is pretty old. I don't know where that's from. This is from some store. I don't even, I don't even remember where that's from. I think my mom gave that to me. And this um, as well. So like I said, I don't always have links to where I got stuff because a lot of things is thrifted. Um, but yeah, this is my hutch. big question that I get a lot is where this table runner is from this is from home goods and then the chargers are from Ikea I think um, those were actually given to me and then these are at Target right now so are these these are the jadeite plates and then these are the magnolia napkins that are there right now so I'll try and leave that all below this is also known as the stuff we're not allowed to eat on it's only for <laughs> decoration yes this is true I only have them at the ends of the table because my kids will pull them off over here this is from Hobby Lobby and I want to say when they're half off you can get these for like I think they're like seven dollars or something really really inexpensive for a tray like this and then these bottles right here are thrifted from my favorite thrift store um, this one is not this one was from Tuesday morning a while back so this rug is definitely one of the favorites that I've had. This is from Amazon and I'll leave the link below if you're interested. I just like how it looks distressed on the outside um, and it's really easy to camouflage like any spills or anything. So if your kids accidentally drop something on it, I mean honestly that's kind of a big deal. You don't want it to look all dirty all the time. So if um, they drop something on it, you can't see it because it's very um, distressed, like there's no significant pattern on it or anything to where you can tell. Um, and it's really inexpensive and it looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. So I'll leave it below. I want to say mine is a five by seven, just in case anyone, I'm sure someone will ask. I think it's a five by seven, but I just, I just really like it. This tray sits up on our kitchen counter and this, I believe, um, my mom actually gave this to me, but you can find one very similar, if not the same, on the Amazon, so I will link it below if you're looking for one of these three-tiered, like, galvanized trays. I believe they have them on there. Um, this is from the um, Magnolia Collection at Target, 
and then um, I'm not sure where that's from these little eggs you can find these at Hobby Lobby or at least you could during Easter I had got mine from a thrift store but I saw the exact same ones at Hobby Lobby so if they still have those out of course you could pick those up but since Easter's over they may be gone these are all from the Magnolia collection at Target I've got salt pepper and sugar and then um, this is from a thrift store and um, actually most of all of this is and then this is just one of those little jars from the Target dollar spot um, I saw some of these the other day there they're bigger a little bit bigger but they do have these for like three dollars and then I just put oats in there you could do like sugar or flour or something and then this is from the Magnolia collection as well I love these jadeite green pieces tiered shelf is from Kirkland's and I think I mentioned most of this stuff before in my home tour video I'll go over it again real quick um, these are the only thing that's new and these are from Tuesday morning I want to say they were like three or four dollars a piece um, I like to do everything in odds if I can so I grabbed three of those that's from Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby Magnolia collection and the greenery is from Ikea um, here is my favorite candle. I talk about this candle all the time. Um, I'll leave that below if you're interested. You can get that from Amazon. And um, these are from the Magnolia Collection as well. I think they still have these there. Um, I'm pretty sure that they do. And then here's just a little white vase. Um, I probably need to put some greenery in that, but I'm not sure where that's from. I have a lot of just like white pieces like that. And then this is from Target. I want to say that they might be sold out of them. Um, they had these online. They do not have them in the store. If they have them online, I will link it below. And then these that are on the side of my TV are from Hobby Lobby. And I usually just put the Mag Magnolia magazines in here. And then um, the, all this stuff is thrifted. So if you watched one of my latest vlogs, you'll see that we just got this from Home Goods. And that is also from Home Goods right there. That is thrifted. But I just really like the color of this. And it was actually a very good price for what it is. So if you're looking for a TV stand, I would check out Home Goods. And um, then right up here, it used to say Farmhouse. And I actually got rid of that sign and replaced it with this one. This one is also from Hobby Lobby. This is what my bedroom looks like right now and I will leave the bedding in the description box below. It is from Amazon and um, this is just a duvet cover and it has some lace on the top up here and I talked about this um, in a previous video and I just got it out of the washer so it needs to like chill out and lay flat. It'll lay flat eventually. Um, but it washes really well. Um, I just bleach it and it just makes me feel like I'm getting it nice and clean. It is a duvet cover, but it is very, um, inexpensive. So if you're looking for just like an inexpensive white duvet cover, um, that's got just like a little bit of character to it. I like the lace. Um, it gives it a little bit of detail and then it's got a little bit of lace on, um, the, the, um, shams here just right on the edge but that's it these pillows are from a shop i will leave below those are just two throw pillows i'm probably gonna get rid of that one or just move it um or get another throw pillow right here uh, i just kind of threw those up there this morning and um this is the newest addition to my room so if you remember my bed was actually on this wall and i haven't done anything with this wall yet the plan is to um completely rearrange that and then i have the piece of furniture that i'm redoing is going to go right here below it um and if you guys don't know what i'm talking about check out one of my most recent vlogs. I can leave it in a card up here, but I'm actually redoing a piece of furniture that I got from Goodwill that's going to go right there, and then I will redo this whole wall. Um, so that will be in a video to come. But this right here is an old um, window, and I popped out those two. This one was already missing. I popped out that one. That way I could hang it more securely. Um, and just the fact that it's missing a few windows kind of gives it a little bit of character. And I found this at the um, antique store slash thrift store that I go to a whole lot um, and then this wreath is from Hobby Lobby this is the Magnolia wreath and it's about $70 cheaper than the real one the real one is like over a hundred dollars this one it looks pretty close to that one and I want to say when it goes on sale it's like 
$30 or something. I don't remember exactly, but if you get them half off, um, those are at Hobby Lobby. And then over here, I have our gallery wall. This sign is from um, Hobby Lobby. All of the frames are also from Hobby Lobby. You can always get the frames half off. And over here is our dresser. I get a lot of questions about this dresser as well. It was my husband's and I repainted it using chalk paint. Um, I use the Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white. You don't have to sand or prime um, and the paint does not chip off. So that is it for my spring home decor tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video and it gave you a little bit of inspiration on how to decorate your own home. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on my next video.